So as Robert Anton Wilson in Prometheus Rising in his book says that it's a brain change. It's a shift in the brain and it's a rapid brain change. Some people may be putting it that way. It's a transformation. It's a transformation from the head to the heart. It's a journey that you transform, you transition from analytical thinking, from a world of the mind that's constructed by, through thoughts, you shifting to the world of the heart. is a different kind of knowing. This one is the knowing of the mind, which is not a direct experience. And this one is the knowing of the heart, which comes from direct experience. Now, this is not something that you read and you memorize and you begin to practice. It doesn't work that way. For majority of us on this life that we have come to this life for whatever reason and we don't need to get into that right now but you want to do some checking with yourself. A. You are here. You're here because you don't have a choice to be anywhere else. So you're here. You are in this life. You're in this body. You were born in this family, whatever family you were born in. You were born in this color of skin. You were born in this religious background. You are born with your nationality. Wherever you've landed and wherever you are, that's where you are. You can't be anywhere else and you can't be anything else or anyone else. You definitely can't be anyone else because everybody else is already taken. So you want to get used to being yourself and wherever you're at. So let's get this thing straight. And admit it and accept it so you don't have to struggle with very basic things, which a lot of people do, and especially in pseudo-spirituality. So much confusion is here. So much. So many of you are so confused in your, on your spiritual path. Let me just make a few things very clear for you. So it makes it easier. And you can see for yourself, check in with your own heart if this is something you want to continue listening to and following and incorporating into it. So let's take one thing out of the equation and right very, very the beginning of this workshop. A. You don't have a choice. Choice does not exist because there is no free will. Free will does not exist. It's a hoax. It's, it's just an optical illusion. It appears to be there. It appears as a part of your path, but it's non-existing. Whatever, whatever decision you make and whichever direction you go is already written. It's where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. And I'm going to tell you why you don't have a choice, because there is no free will. It's non-existing. Is because there is no individual entity. There is no one single person separated from totality. It just doesn't exist. You, as a single person, as an individual, separated from the whole, doesn't exist. It's non-existing. It's only an imagination. It's happening in the realm of the mind. The mind is projecting it. 
that there is such a thing that you are an individual separated from everything else and you can choose what to do and that doesn't exist it's non-existing it's not even there it's pure illusion So at this point you want to see if this teaching is for you or not because your mind or you may come and think like you know what this is completely bullshit and this is not for me. It's a very good time to exit and move on because I'm about to rock your world. My mission is not to support your illusion to keep you in a state of a sleep by giving you a few different techniques to do this and to do that so you're happy with me my mission is to wake you up completely especially of what is going to come next on this planet where it's going to is to wake up to a house which is burning down and its roof is about to fall down and you're sleeping you're in your bed you're in a deep sleep and you're dreaming of something and papa mama comes and wake you up wake up wake up and of course you're in this deep sleep and you don't want to wake up because you're walking on a beach with your sweetheart hand in hand and you're loving that sleep that dream but the ceiling on your house is about to fall down and you're gonna get burned and killed or badly burned so your parents there they're trying to wake you up to get you out of the house before the house burned down and that's what I'm doing right now trying to wake you up to an illusion that you were brought up to all of your life and you're dearly hanging on to it and supporting it some people get very angry about this they get the because their prejudice is being insulted to the point that they can get violent they may just pick up a shotgun and shoot me or beat me in my head because I'm telling something that they absolutely don't want to hear and it's very much opposite of their complete belief system because no one has ever told them that majority of us have never heard this that there is absolutely no free will no free will for the individual because there is no individual there is no individual entity separated from the source capable of doing its own thing everything is a part of the source everything is a part of the totality everything is God everything is a an expression of the absolute everything every one of us is an expression of the absolute you are an expression of God this is how God is expressing itself through you whether you like it or you don't like it it doesn't matter what you like or don't like you don't have a choice in liking it that's how it is this is how God wants to express itself you and in that recognition as you surrender to it you begin to understand it and see it a number of different things begin to happen because gratitude takes place